This is the recorded weekly Monday briefing for August 31st. Today and Tuesday we'll see some light showers across the northern mountains. Winds will generally be 10 to 20 miles per hour, but the RHs will be up now that we are cooler. For Wednesday we will see a cold front passage, uh, temperatures will be even cooler, and we will see some breezy conditions. For Thursday through Saturday, low pressure drops down uh, from British Columbia. And then Sunday into early next week, we could see quite a bit of rainfall in the Panhandle, but there is a lot of uncertainty. Our Pacific satellite image, low pressure over the northwestern portion of BC will be dropping down. This will deliver the cold front for Wednesday. High pressure in the eastern Pacific, and then in the tropical Pacific, we do have a few hurricanes, uh, Jimena, Ignacio, and Kilo. Uh, Ignacio and Jimena may actually affect uh, some of our moisture across the region for next week, but this week these will have a low impact, or no impact I should say, for our weather. Uh, the visible satellite image, we do have quite a bit of clouds across the north with some light showers. The only smoke that we can see that's visible is in the southern panhandle. And these are from the uh, fires uh, that I'm circling here with my mouse. We also have uh, large fires across much of the region, and there's really no big updates from what we were looking at last week. The air quality, though, has improved. These green dots here, the sensors from our partnering uh, air quality agencies, do show good air quality where the green dots are. The only uh, locations where we are still seeing some unhealthy air quality is around the Kamii area where uh, the visible satellite, I did circle some smoke there, so that is still producing some unhealthy air quality uh, this morning or today. But the air quality advisory has been discontinued and we are not expecting the air quality to decrease through this week, but uh, especially locations near the large fires, we could see still see some smoke. The front on Wednesday uh, we'll bring some breezing conditions across the uh, basin. We will see a slight chance for thunderstorms across the Cascades and Northern Mountains, and also could see some showers uh, from, the from the Northeast Blue Mountains or Northeast Oregon up into the Central Panhandle. So here are the uh, gusts that we are looking at for uh, Wednesday afternoon. Generally 20 to 30 mile per hour gusts can be expected. The Okanagan Valley won't be quite as breezy on Wednesday, but Tuesday afternoon the winds uh, are expected to pick up through the Okanagan Valley before the front or prefrontal. The cold front will also bring some cooler temperatures and on Thursday morning we could see temperatures approaching freezing at least across some of our colder pockets in the northern mountain valleys including Republic, uh, Deer Park, Tuquila area could see some lows in the, in the lower to mid 30s. This image here is the a model solution of the 48 hour precipitation amounts from Thursday to Friday. The area low pressure in BC will be dropping down and slowly track across the region. Now Friday looks like it's a better potential for thunderstorms than on Thursday. The amount of moisture that we'll be seeing is going to be a low. So they're not going to be uh, big rain producers or very proficient rain producers, but the uh, any showers or thunderstorms that do develop will be moving very slowly. So there is a small chance that we could see some heavier showers or a thunderstorm that develops over one of our burn scar areas, and this could be um, a potential impact for some minor mud or debris flows or maybe even a flash flood depending on the strength of these storms. Our confidence is low uh, at this time, but we will continue to monitor the situation and provide any updates later this week uh, if needed. The winds Friday through uh, Saturday are going to be switching from the west to out the north, and this could be uh, a scenario where we see some breezy winds down the Okanagan Valley. The good news is that RHs will continue to remain up. Then for late uh, the next weekend into early next week, 
Again, we're showing 48-hour precipitation forecasts. I have one model on the left-hand side and another model on the right-hand side, just to show you that there's quite a bit of um, differences in the model solutions at this time. The left side model is not as wet and is relatively dry, only maybe a tenth to two tenths uh, of precipitation in the southern panhandle. This is a solution that is taking the low and tracking out of the area relatively quickly Sunday and early next week. The right hand solution has got a much slower uh, track to the low, low and actually uh, brings in quite a bit of moisture wrapping around the low. So this solution here says that we could see two inches uh, or near two inches of precipitation from the uh, northeast Blue Mountains and the central pan or the southern and central panhandle and even near half an inch to an inch or an inch and a half all the way up into the northern panhandle. So this could be a, a wet period for Sunday into early next week but uh, a lot of uncertainty so confidence is low at this time that we uh, will see this much rainfall. The 8 to 14 day outlook valid for September 8th to the 14th. Better than average chance of above normal uh, temperatures is expected from the Climate Prediction Center and a better average uh, chance than below uh, normal precipitation. Thank you very much. This uh, concludes the weekly briefing for August 31st.